Welcome to BitArmit's YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over my personal dive gear and getting it ready for dive tryouts next week. Uh, we're going to need a few extra sets, so I'm going to break out my personal set because I like using my personal set. So, here we go. I didn't have time to get all the parts and pieces I want to make the pretty hose on my OTS full face guardian regulator. So I'm just going to slap it onto here. Important note about dive tools. Dive tools are dive tools, they don't touch anything automotive. Leave that on. So we're gonna take it off of we'll take it off of the supplied OTS hose and we'll put it onto the swivel. And just snug. All right, so that gets me my full face mask with my primary hose. So we'll bring in pony bottle because it happens to be handy. It's got at least 2,500 psi, which is plenty to check my immediate pressures. Always turn your gauges face down. It may be an old, old school thing, but if the glass breaks, at least it breaks down and not on you. All right. 2200 PSI work. Turn here. My old immediate pressure checker, about 150. That's where I like that. Turn here. good. This one's a little more difficult. Breathe good. All right. And the intermediate pressure stayed about the same. Let's just make sure draw works. Very little deflection. Okay. That set's good to go. Um, my picnic, my friends. Oh. And I had a lot of stuff. Good. Even at the concert, so my I had lots of makeup. Oh wow. And I have a lot of stuff in my car, and I'm going home and get ready for my concert. Okay. You can just keep going. All right, so we're good in intermediate pressures. They both breathe. <laughs> I haven't been playing with this one for the last few days, so I know everything else is good on it. So I'm not going to go any further into a maintenance check on it. See, you know, take a minute to talk about that. I see a lot of new divers just grab their gear and throw it around. So, just a real simple wrap. Intermediate pressure or low pressure and high pressure gauge together and your two second stages together nice easy takes a lot of the strain off of all the hoses it's a simple way to carry it and set and deal with it. 
Alright, so this set I have not touched in quite a while. Um, so it's still running a command ear second stage as a primary. I like these. I like these a lot actually. Uh, they haven't been made in quite a while. The Pro Sub stopped selling in the US. They're still an extremely nice regulator. They're good breathers. This one uses this side to direct the orifice for the air coming out so you can redirect it either uh, down into the body or back against the diaphragm. What's particularly helpful about that is as you're swimming and you're drawing air, if you're in a current and you've got current pushing against the diaphragm, it actually pushes the air back up into the diaphragm. It gives you a little more resistance. This side over here is sensitivity. It basically backs the valve away from the seat to make it a little easier to breathe. Usually mine is that's normal and all the way open is free flow. Because this is my less used dark water gear, this is just a regular non fancy second stage. In fact, I haven't looked at this one in a long time. These were new as I was coming out of diving the first time. Okay, it's still pretty similar to a command air, just minus all the extra adjustments. So it's still pretty it's still gonna be a pretty decent breather, but you're not gonna be able to adjust the orifice direction or the sensitivity. And this is on a 400 plus first stage. I love these first stages. It's a very old school piston style. Now you got your high pressure chamber up here, and here is your ambient pressure chamber. And then this entire space down here is low pressure air, so it's a high volume breather, meaning you have a high volume of low pressure air in there. Piston hit kind of hard, it sounded like. All the way open, quarter turn back. Another thing I don't see new divers do enough of. This one should run a little bit lower pressure, being this is the piston. 125 ish on the money. Right where this one should be. Good, it's a little heavy. Let's throw the sensitivity up. Like a champ. No leak. Actually, that's pretty easy breathing. All right. Let's get this. A little bit of drawdown, but not too bad. All right, that's two sets of gear ready for dive tryouts. So cut the air off. All right, it comes off, dust cap goes back on. Dust caps are always on. And of course, my Guardian mask. And I think I'm pretty well set for dive tryouts on Wednesday. I think we're good. All right, like always, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Probably going to start going more towards the dive direction anyway. Uh, still love guns, but I'm getting kind of heavy into diving because that's what my kids are of age to do.